Make sure your outside rein allows that bend to the left as much as your outside rein allowed the, the bend to the right, Sean. There you go. Exactly. Show that your other leg, um, yeah, the outside leg protects a little bit behind you, so that when you make that left turn, he doesn't go out behind you. That's the right turn. Remember the right turn you made, and then you made a little half pass back to the wall just a minute ago. That was real nice design. On this side, it looks a little different. There you go. I think now we're even. Very good. And then when you make that half turn just a little bit, yes, and then half pass back to the wall. But make sure the haunches don't go out. Not out. Outside leg protect. Protect. There you go. That's where you had your other leg when you made the right turn. Yes? Uh, you, you try and make him as symmetrical as possible. Always, yeah? That's a better angle now. There you go. So that it's easy for both ears and eyes and nostrils to stay parallel to the wall.
just whistle him to a truck. <laughs> minutes, moments, yeah. if he wants to like open his stride a little yeah. without getting any much longer with his neck, that would be nice, okay? Just the dropping down, right? The dropping is very good, it's very hard, uh, beautiful. But then, then that should relax him and then he should open his stride just a little more. Where now he's still a little choppy, a yeah. little bit, yeah? yeah? As soon as he wants to open his stride, it should be, you kind of then, at that point, mm -hmm. allow him to do it, is what I'm saying, yeah? If the dropping is important, it's very good, and then open a little, open a little. Good. That's the drop, yes? Make sure it feels like a drop, because sometimes he's round and does not drop, no? You know, when he, when he looks for you and connects with you, that's the ultimate goal, yes? Okay, let him stretch a little, that's fine, that's fine. Let him stretch, so he opens the stride a little bit. A little more, a little bigger stride if possible. A little more forward if possible. There you go. Yeah, so that, that little swing comes to the front a little bit.
Very good, Sean. Mm. He really, really wants to do a little massage. It's okay, all right? All right. It's okay. <laughs> go with it, like they say. Yeah? Just go with it, then. Exactly. I mean, if he offers it, it's okay. You have to go and look too much for it, then it's not okay with it. It's fine. One start. There you go. Good. Not, not going to be okay. in here. No, I'm just a third. Can we try a little more forward now? Just one. Not. Yeah. 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 There's a good drop now. Okay. Now that resembles that feeling. Remember what you showed me in your canter yesterday? Yes. And and he went you you went a little bit away from him? And he started cantering really beautiful. That 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 that's the same principle. That's very good. It's healthy to do that. Very nice. This keeps his yeah, belly up. More, huh? more, much better over the top line today. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. Sometimes allow the outside rain a little bit too. Allow the outside a little. Exactly. Very good. So the outside can stretch. Exactly. Nice. Nice. He's really there now because he likes being there. Yes, and that's especially good. Logic for you to yeah. let him go a little on that left rein. Good, good, good. Just a little, just a little when you get tight. Yeah. And when you get a little tight or choppy, you can go from your half fast into or through it and shoulder in there. On your same line. And go shoulder in.
Nothing wrong with that, eh? Nothing wrong with that. Just don't make any, like, corrections. I'm just kind of going... <laughs> Play with it. Go with the flow. Go with it. Yep, absolutely. Keep in mind that Piaf is through quickening of the hind leg. Passage is through pausing, yes? Slowing down. Piaf is with little quicker leg, as where Passage would be with a little more steady embracing leg. <laughs> he wants to look a little bit now. That's good. That's fine. That's okay. That's good. That's real. That's real. There you go. That's, it feels identical to a trot. Only you're not going anywhere, but it should feel. Ideally, it feels like trot. Yes? Very good. And if he offers, just go with it. There you go. Good. Now he's totally dropping on you. That's good. Yeah, and it's okay because you're not holding him there. He's holding himself there. Yes? Would be absolutely wrong if you were holding him there, but this is not the case. This is good. He's there because it feels good. And which is Ultimately, we'll, we'll keep making his back, keep his back strong, you know, by doing that. Very good. Busy, huh? Good. Yeah. A good busy though, isn't it? Yeah. That's beautiful. Being able to give. Very good. You don't always have to, but just feeling that it feels like I can if I want to. <laughs> Exactly. He's there because it feels good. That was very nice. Very nice. Thank you. 
Same deal there. If the office called Penta and he feels natural, yes. turning at that size is, is okay. Yes? The, the, the success of a pirouette depends on the ease in which you can reduce the stride. Yes? But if reducing or collecting is easy, then you can turn small. If it's a little difficult, turn a little bigger. Yes? Always adjust the turn according to how successful your collection is. And with successful, I mean how easy it feels. Yes, ma'am. Very good. All right. Is that horn okay? Call it here, or? Call it here? Yeah. Call it here. Yeah. 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 Upper body, yes. Always a quiet upper body. Your leg can, your leg can talk. Your hands can. There you go. You do, you do not. Your upper body or your seat do not want to move more than his back. Yes. Very good. You always stay quiet on top. Your lower leg can work a little. Yes. But you don't want to move more in your back. You don't want to move more than his back. Correct. Okay. Yeah, a little distracted, but that's okay. So if he gets a little distracted in that kind of thing, just kind of. So be it. There you go. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. He was trying to look at the other horse at the same time. No big deal. Now the same thing makes your outside rein accommodating. Yes, ma'am. Maybe shorten the inside a little bit as well. There you go. Very good. Just a little. That's good, yes? You want him to bend, so your outside rein must almost negotiate a little bit how much guiding can I do with the outside rein, but not so much that I don't allow him to bend anymore. I have to allow him to bend a little. Maybe go all the way around the ring, maybe. Was this the side that you could yeah, I was going to say that. I was going to ask you. This decide that you can do this. Very good. Very good. That made him very good yesterday. That made him well. That made him very smooth. That's, that's wonderful. That's really, really good. Yep. That's fine. Fine. Yeah. 
That's healthy, doing yeah. it that way, because then he can... When he gets a little bottled up like that. Yep. Maybe walk. Maybe. <laughs> you think he can? Nice work, though. In that case, it's okay, huh? He likes right. He looks to work. He wants to move. So it's, it's all good. He likes it. Therefore, it's okay. He'll tell you when it's when. Yeah. As long as he asks the one thing. A little bit rounder than usual. Yeah. Left, a little more than, than your average horse, so to speak. Okay. So that his loin, his back stays strong, yes? Yeah. 